Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, today's pop-up is gonna be 100% shuffled live on camera today because I felt really spontaneous when I'm filming this right now. Um, you guys, it just hit me. I want to film a video about what is coming next in love for whoever's watching this video right now. So I don't know what's gonna, I don't know what's happening yet. This is brand new for me. I'm sure I will have linked some brief info in the title. So if you felt drawn to this reading, if this reading found you, uh, it is meant to be timeless and it most certainly found you for a reason. But yeah, today's reading is going to be all about what's what the next chapter of love looks like for you. Okay. So let's get some tarot out right away, right out the gate. I'm going to start with that tarot. And you guys, I've been thinking about putting out another pick a card with this theme recently. So if that's something that would be of interest to you, um, let me know down in the comments because sometimes you guys don't like my pick a card readings as much as my spontaneous pop-ups, but I love filming pick a cards. So um, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts, you guys. I like, I aim to please and I also like putting out a variety. So first of all, uh, we have Libra coming out. So it's quite possible you or your next person, the next chapter of love could have something to do with Libra energy, as in your new person could be a Libra or this could be starting in Libra season, potentially. Okay, it, I see it, or Cancer. We have Cancer now with the Chariot. But yeah, I see it bringing you a lot of happiness. Like you guys are already on your way to manifesting whatever this is right now. Um, could be with an old person, could be with a new person completely. All right, let's get a couple more. Let's get some more clarifier cards out, actually. I'm going to pull some additional clarifiers. Yeah, but love is definitely on its way to you, just so you know. If you didn't know that or if you've been um, questioning whether or not you're ever going to find your person, they're definitely on their way to you. We have Justice, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, this is coming for you. You just got to be a little bit more patient, okay? Universe could be blinding you from seeing this right now and getting too many details because it's meant to be a surprise. Um, I read this Seven of Cups differently in this deck. It's more of like um, shrouded in mystery, I guess. I don't know how to explain it to you, but essentially what I'm getting from this combination is that universe is not going to reveal all of the details yet because part of it is meant to be a surprise. You're not meant to see this coming 100%. But I'm going to give you as much info as I can. Oh my goodness. I just heard a uh, fire sign as well. So it's quite possible that your next partner is going to be a fire sign. Take a look at that. We have the chariot coming out again or cancer potentially. Okay. Let's get, let's get one more out. Let's get a couple more clarifiers out. The chariot, please. Spiritual team. Ooh, this person is going to be super motivated to move things forward with you. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to be feeling so good together. Like this is going to, this is power couple energy all the way. You guys are going to be so excited with the next chapter of love. Okay. Like the next person that's coming in is going to make you feel so good, so positive, so optimistic. They are going to be a total go-getter. Like this person is going to pursue you and they're not going to like let anything get in the way of that. They're, they're going to be like a true um, divine masculine or divine feminine type of energy. I think this person's really going to impress you and you are going to end up in like a long-term committed relationship with whoever this person is. Okay, I'll get some more zodiac signs out for you. But again, we have Libra, we have Cancer coming out twice with the Chariot twice. We also have Leo with the Sun. So those are some zodiacs for you. I'm gonna pull some extra dice though. Okay, so, ooh, okay. Ooh, I need to look up that symbol. I think that's Pluto. We also have Virgo coming out here. Cancer again. So yeah, this person could definitely be a Cancer or have heavy Cancer placements. We also have a Scorpio coming out and Cancer again. Oh my goodness. For some of you, this is reminding me of that reading the other day. Did you guys see that reading where it's like every two seconds a Scorpio card would come out? That's how this reading is, but with Cancer. So yeah, you could definitely, this, this next person could definitely be a Cancer or this could be going down like around Cancer season for some of you guys out there okay so cancer season could also be really important bear with me for one second as i try to like break down this symbol for you since it came out twice i'm pretty sure it's pluto though 
So take a look at your chart. Get ready to look at your astrological chart because that could give you some more clues here. Um, or this could be about that person as well. So just hold your horses for one second, you guys. Hold your horses. No pun intended with the chariot energy. That is funny. That is hilarious. Okay. Well, come on now. It is Pluto. I knew it. I'm starting to learn these symbols right now, you guys. Can I get a little round of applause here? It is Pluto. Um, so Pluto's coming out twice. Uh, Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto, just so you know. And we did have Scorpio coming out a little bit here too. So that could also be a note that maybe you or your person are a Scorpio. Or just check your, your chart. See where, like, see what's going on with Pluto in your chart, essentially. That could give you hints, okay? Or maybe you and your person will have the same signs in Pluto since we had it come out twice, particularly Cancer, possibly. That could be the big hint for you. Let's get a few Oracle cards out. Let's get some additional details. I'm feeling called to keep this rather brief today. I will pull some channeled messages as well, okay? This is going to happen for you likely after you've begun your spiritual awakening or this person is going to help you along your spiritual awakening path. So it's quite possible that this person could maybe be a counterpart of yours or just somebody that's really inspiring to you when it comes to like your spirituality, okay? We have 1001, spiritual awakening, new beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity, and heading in the right direction. Yeah, so this person's going to come in after you're already feeling really good. So honestly, you guys, you know um, that this person is going to be coming in when you yourself are feeling like you don't even really care anymore. Like you are just so happy being in your own lane, working on yourself. Everything in life is going to be seeming like it's already going in the right direction. And then bam, this person's just going to show up. And it's because you've raised your vibration and they are now in alignment with you. So it's going to take you by surprise, but you're going to be feeling so dang good about it. I mean, take a look at that, you guys. We got the sun. Yeah, you're going to be feeling Feeling great when this person comes in. You are already going to feel totally whole within yourself when this new awesome person comes soaring on in for you, okay? Starting fresh. Yeah, there's a lot of energy about new beginnings. This is going to happen for you after you've already had some type of a new beginning, um, likely sparked by a spiritual awakening, okay? Encouragement, goals, foundations, creative ventures and communication. Maybe some of you guys are going to get into some type of like public speaking or something like that as well. Um, and using your voice is going to be really important. And that's when you're going to meet this person. Like maybe you have to like publicly speak at a conference or maybe you're a content creator or something like that. I don't know. But using your voice is going to be really important for calling in this beautiful divine counterpart of yours. Okay. We, all, we also have big happy changes. So yes, this is going to change your world, but for the better. Like you're going to be feeling so good. You and this person are going to be blending together. You're going to be super impressed by them. They're going to be super impressed by you. Overall, it seems like things are going to be going in a beautiful new direction for the both of you. And you guys are going to be feeling so excited. Just overly optimistic. Okay. Hold on a second. Because my deck apparently is like all mixed up or something like that. So bear with me, you guys, because um, that's going to drive me nuts, but that's okay. All right, let's get, let's get some more information out for you. I'll fix my deck after the reading is done. I'm not going to get obsessive over it right now. Oh, geez, Louise, that might be a yes or no, so I got to check it out quick. It is. It is a yes or no. So if you have a yes or no question, please ask that now or pause the video and think of what you want your question to be. Uh, listen to your intuition, please. I'm going to count down from three and then I'm going to reveal the yes, no answer to you. Okay. Three, two, one. Your answer, my dear, is a big fat yes. Okay. A big fat yes. Let's get one more card out. Let's get one more card out. Ask your angels. You're being advised right now to spend some time in prayer and meditation. If you have any deeper questions that are seemingly unanswered by this reading or just in general, don't be afraid to ask your spiritual team. Your guardian angels are there to help you, okay? Same goes for your spirit guides and the beautiful archangels. Like, I pray to, like, 
half a dozen or more archangels every single day, you guys. Archangel Michael is great to look to for support and protection. Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Samuel, Archangel Metatron, so on and so forth. Just make sure you're always calling upon beings of love and light, okay? Because uh, there is that cosmic duality of our universe, right? And just like there are beautiful beings of light that are here to help us, there are equally not so beautiful beings of not so light that are there to not so help us, okay? To put it very bluntly and casually for you. So just make sure you're always calling on beautiful beings of light when you are praying and, and needing support, okay? Um, and I always start my prayers with calling upon God and Jesus first because they're my number ones. Then I move into the archangels, my guardian angels, and my spirit guides. So I don't know who needed to hear that right now, but somebody out there did. And if that's you, I hope it found you in divine timing. Okay. We also have true colors. So this person is going, you and this person are going to feel like you can be your true selves around each other. Maybe one or both of you are 33 or master number 33 could be important to this connection. Maybe you will be seeing multiples of three a lot before they come in for you. But yeah, you guys are going to feel like you can be your true selves. Like you're not going to have to hide behind any type of masks. You guys are going to be feeling really good in each other's presence. I, like, I really see this like going very swimmingly for you. You're going to be feeling great. Um, it's going to feel like a little bit foreign because maybe you got quite used to some toxic or turbulent relationships in the past, but um, it's not going to feel that way with this person. You guys are going to be feeling really good about being in each other's presence and just being able to be your true authentic selves. Uh, we also have two more blue energies coming out here and there was already a note about throat chakra energy being important. So there's something about you needing to make sure that you are speaking authentically. This person is not going to come into your world until you feel totally free to just be yourself. Again, I really see this person coming in after you've already had a bit of a spiritual awakening, after you've already gone through some healing processes. This person's going to come flying on in um, as almost like a blessing from the universe for all of the beautiful work you've been putting in for yourself. Let's get some messages from them to see what they have to say to you, what they're going to say to you, what things are going to be like when they finally do come in. Okay, hold on a sec. Yeah, this person could be a part of your soul family. This is a specific message for some of you guys out there, but this person could be a member of your soul tribe. Um, and it's like, with our higher level soul connections, at least this is what I have been intuitively told, okay? Um, since we're cut from the same soul cloth as our soul family members, right? Our, our, our higher level ones, such as soulmates and our twin flame. It's like when one of us levels up, the rest of the soul tribe does too, even if they don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And I've watched this with my own soul family members, like, time and time again, like one of my best friends, I'm going to leave her name anonymous. Just, I don't know if she wants me to put it out there or not, but it is so funny because like, I will go through the s spiritual flu or whatever it is. Like, as in, I will be having like chakra upgrades and stuff like that, feeling like crap for like a few hours to 24 hours or so. And I know it's not like a real sickness. It's literally like energy integrating and purging out of my body. It's like the spiritual, it's like the Ascension flu is what it's called. Right. And I will talk to her like the next day and I'll be like, Oh, I went through another round of the, the Ascension flu again. And she will just be like, are you kidding me? I was going through the exact same thing as you at the exact same time, even though we live a thousand miles apart from each other and we weren't talking, we were going through the exact same thing throughout the exact same time. And it's because again, when one of us in our soul family elevates, the rest of our soul family members start elevating and ascending as well, even if they don't know what's going on. On. Um, so when you raise your vibe, you are actually raising the vibe of not only your own soul tribe, but like the entire earth. So that's why it's so important to focus on unity consciousness and becoming the best version of yourself because you're not just helping you when you do that, you're helping everybody else too. And so what I'm getting from this message is that your person, this next new chapter of love for you, like you guys are going to be helping each other, even though you might not know who this person is yet. Like you may not have even met this person yet, but you guys are currently helping each other out just by raising your own vibes. Um, and it's absolutely so beautiful. And then they showed me yes again right after that. So just keep in mind, um, 
all of the beautiful work that you're pouring into yourself right now is definitely not in vain. Okay, all the healing that you're doing, your person is healing right now too. Like overall, it's just, it's a beautiful energy. And the more you prioritize yourself, the more you're going to call forth this person to you because self-love is so attractive, not only on an energetic level, but just on a 3D level too. Think about it. People that stand in their confidence, people that stand in their own power and like truly love themselves and respect themselves are super magnetic and attractive. Just think about it. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like the, some of the most attractive people that you can meet, I, it's not even like about physical attractiveness. It's just about the way they carry themselves. It's about the way that they present themselves in, <coughs> in the world. You know what I mean? It's all about confidence and the way, like what energy you are projecting outwards. Okay? You're my angel. Yeah, this, you, you and this person are going to have a really happy relationship with each other from what I can see here. Probably have a past life with one another. Okay, <clears throat> it might feel kind of serendipitous when this person comes in, just so you know, it might feel kind of serendipitous, like you're not going to see this coming, but then all of a sudden you're going to feel like you've known this person for lifetimes. Let's get one more message for something that they would say to you or what they're going to say to you when you meet them or when you reconnect with them. So many things remind me of you and everything reminds me of you. Oh, you guys, this is going to be cute. This is going to be a cute little relationship you have going on here. I'm telling you. Yeah. My life will never be the same after meeting you. And I'm so determined. Yeah, this person, like I said, that's coming out strong with the chariot and the seven of wands. This person is going to be super duper motivated to come towards you. And they're not going to let anything get in the way. Like, I really think that you're going to be impressed by this person's energy. And again, I'm not seeing anything explicitly saying that this is specifically a new person or a person from the past. I think it's going to vary for everybody out there. For some of you, it's going to be a person cycling back in from the past. And for others of you, you have not met this person yet. It's going to be a totally brand new person. Um, so just saying, there's nothing like explicitly saying either way right now. I just wanted to clear that up and get that out there for you guys. I think it'll be different for everybody. Now, I'm going to lay out all these letters for you guys. If I am missing any names or words or anything like that, don't forget to comment down below for the collective. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, please, if you like the video. It really helps me out um, with the YouTube algorithm, and I'd love to have you stick around and be a part of the Awakened family. Um, if anybody who can... Uh, join us. I mean, we really have a lot of fun on this channel, especially during the live feeds. Everybody is so kind and supportive to one another. And I just want to thank you all again from the bottom of my heart for being so loving towards one another. That was exactly what I was hoping to build when I started this channel. I wanted to build a community where we all uplift each other, pray for each other, and really, truly, deeply care for one another. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, everybody. You are all beautiful, bright, shining stars, and I hope you know that. Okay. Um, I don't know why they had me say food right away. That came out. So maybe you and your person are going to be foodies. Like you guys will like to go out to eat together. Um, maybe one or both of you are chefs or you actually like to cook or something like that. But food could be important. Maybe that's also saying that uh, if you don't already know this person, maybe you will meet them while you're out to eat somewhere or getting coffee or something like that. That's how you will meet this person. Okay. Um, you're going to feel like like some type of endless loop is going to be put to an end to like looping. Um, we don't have an end, but yeah, there's going to be like, you're going to feel like, you know, this person, you guys, um, even if you like, regardless of whether or not you currently know them or not, you are going to feel like you've known them for lifetimes. Like that keeps coming out. So many things remind me of you. Um, everything reminds me of you. <laughs> Uh, I Remember You and the song by Skid Row, I Remember You, reminds me of like past life knowledge. Like that's a very special song to me in my world. Um, it was one of the first songs that I recognized. It was actually the first song I ever formally recognized as being a channeled song. When I was first going through my spiritual awakening after soul recognition happened with my twin flame, um, I remember you came on the radio like right when I was like 
first waking up and I was like, what the heck's going on? Everything is going crazy in my world. And I was like, just going through the very beginning stages of my first like conscious spiritual awakening. I remember you came on the radio and that was the first time I ever knew like with my deep inner knowing that that was a channeled song to me because like I had been getting channeled songs for my entire life but I never knew that's what they were I hadn't formally recognized my psychic gifts yet but I remember you by Skid Row came on the radio while I was like on this little solo mission of self-discovery that day um kind of going a little bit crazy like what's going on with the synchronicities and I'm being bombarded and that song came on and I was like oh my gosh that song is from my twin flame. And this is about soul. Like I, I just knew, I knew, I knew, I knew without a doubt. I knew the meaning of that song to me. I knew it was channeled. I knew it had something to do with my twin flame. It was crazy, you guys. So maybe give that song a listen. Uh, you're going to feel like you've known this person for lifetimes. Even if it's the first time you've met them, they are likely going to be a part of your soul family. And you're going to be feeling like it's just brand new to you. Like you, you won't even, um, it's going to feel so crazy. I don't know what to say, you guys. I'm excited for you, though. Let's get some charms out. I don't know why I went on that huge skid row rant, but um, I don't know. That's funny. <coughs> Holy cow, you guys. Whoa, we got a lot of crosses coming out. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know I had that many crosses like in that bowl. We got four. So prayer, and I went on that little tangent about prayer earlier, didn't I? Prayer could be really important for this connection. Um, maybe your person is going to consider themselves to be somewhat religious or at least highly spiritual. Um, maybe they're going to seem like a follower of Jesus. Like even if they're not, they don't go by like the label Christian. They're just going to be very Jesus-like in the sense that this is going to be a very kind individual. Somebody that genuinely loves and cares for others and treats people how you want to be treated. The golden rule is so important, you guys. If we all followed the golden rule, Okay, or as like Jesus calls it, the golden rule, um, treat others the way you would want to be treated. This world would be a beautiful place if we all walked around being conscious about other people's feelings and wanting to be just good presences in this world, it would be a beautiful place. So maybe your person takes that type of stuff very seriously, like they take being a kind and loving individual very seriously, and you're just going to be feeling so attracted to them, and they're going to be feeling so attracted to you. We have an F and a B football. I just heard football, so they could be a football fan. Maybe one or both of you are originally from a desertous area, or you're going to meet in like a desert-like state or place. Um, Arizona is coming to mind, or New Mexico. Um, <coughs> Uh, anyway, we also have an angel. So again, more information about the divine is helping orchestrate this behind the scenes. Okay. The divine is watching over both of you as individuals, as well as this connection, even if you haven't met this person yet. Okay. Dogs could be really important to this connection too. Maybe one or both of you has dogs or again, um, just the energy of dogs and what they bring to this earth. Dogs don't care what you look like. They don't care like what your financial background is. Dogs literally just want to love people for simply existing and being people, okay? So maybe you and this person are very similar in that sense where you literally just want to love people. You're like a dog. You're just like, I just love you. I just love you. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what your social status is. I don't care what you look like. I literally just want to love you. And I think that that energy is super beautiful, you guys. It, that's a beautiful energy to have. Let me get out um, an angel message. Actually, you know what? We're going to just do affirmations today. We're going to do affirmations. This is going to be just a quick message for you. <coughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. Let's get out a couple affirmations. There we go. We're just going to pick from the bottom. I'm going to read three or four for you, okay? We have today I am flexible. Today I will adapt to changes in my life with an open mind and a positive outlook. Today I am calm. Today I... Today, my mind is open and I am at peace with who I am. Today, I'm excited. Today is going to be the best day ever. That gives me SpongeBob energy. Today, I am focused. Today, I will be productive and I will feel good about doing the hard work that I need to do. And last but not least, you guys, today, I am special. Today, I will realize that I am a unique, one-of-a-kind person. Beautiful. 
I am going to leave that reading there. Again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around. Comment down below when this happens for you. Come back in and tell me all about your beautiful sunshine of a person. Okay? Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye for now.